You know, we talk a lot about planning for the future. And when many of us say so, we're actually talking about our economic future. We're planning for how can I get a job that will help me make more money? How can I get a promotion? How can, we get, how can I get more uh, increase in salary? How can I get this? How can I get that? So most of what we claim to be planning for when we say we're planning for the future is our economic future. You know, Warren Buffet, who is one of my favorite billionaires in the world, says, the definition of success is to, by the end of your life, is to have the people who you want to love you actually love you. So there is nothing according to him, and he's in his 90s, and he's one of the world's top 10 billionaires, so he should know, that there is nothing more miserable than having accomplished so much in your life, and the people that you want to love you don't love you. And when I think of that, I think about while you're planning for your economic future, are you also planning for the other possible futures, your emotional future? Are you building the friendships, the relationships? Are you creating ties with your family that will serve you when an illness hits, when a tragedy strikes, when trauma comes? Are you building your spiritual future? Are you slowly but steadily developing a relationship with divinity that can hold you when nothing else can. Because it's the same way you plan for your economic future that you plan for these things. You have to invest. If you want to end up with a long-term marriage, you have to invest every day. If you want to have children who will spend time with you when you are older, you have to spend time with them now that they are younger. So when you're planning for your future, from those who have gone before us and who are older, who give us their deathbed bed chronicles, the advice they most say is, beyond money, beyond accomplishments, beyond fame, are you investing in the things that truly matter? Your mind, through exercising your brain. Your heart, through strengthening your relationships. And your spirit, through creating a relationship with God, whatever you conceive God to be.